Hello everybody. Welcome to Alien Statue Collector. Uh, today I have another incredible statue from Gulf Studios. Um, this is the full-size scale hammer pad from Prometheus. And uh, I bought this as a kit. Uh, Gulf Studio released 20 kits of these. And uh, I bought it as a kit and had it shipped to uh, a painter, a master painter in uh, Germany by the name of Michael Ludwig. And uh, I've followed his work for a long time. I love his uh, paint that he does on different alien statues and everything. Um, he has a very specific style that he does for his uh, alien statues. And uh, finally, I was able to get a custom paint job done by him. Um, I, I see him as the you know, European uh, Joe Dunaway. I'm, I'm sure you guys are um, familiar with Joe Dunaway. He's a master painter in the US. He's done a lot of alien paintwork uh, for sideshow collectibles and um, a lot of commission work for different collectors. Um, so uh, this is, yeah, this is a full size scale hammer pad and uh, from Prometheus, which uh, it was shown in the movie for like a couple minutes, I believe. And what is the hammer pad? Uh, basically, it's an extraterrestrial creature resulting from the indigenous worms of LV-223 being exposed to the black pathogen uh, chemical a 0 dash 3959x.91-15 um, and uh, they were basically the indigenous worms were um, exposed to this black pathogen and turned into this serpent looking creature and uh, it's pretty cool and basically uh, the two uh, Prometheus members get lost uh, in the uh, the uh, ship, the derelict ship of Melbourne and Fifield, and they encounter this creature, and it attacks them and uh, kills, uh, basically kills both of them. Uh, the creature wraps around, uh, I think, as melbourne's arm and breaks his arm and then fifield tries to cut it off but then this thing has acid for blood so the acid blood sprays on his helmet the helmet melts and um fifield falls in the black pathogen that was on the ground and after that after his face gets exposed to that black pathogen later on it tr starts to mutate into some kind of alien looking creature um but that was in a deleted scene uh yeah so the hammer pad has a white gray skin with somewhat translucent appearance which uh, the attributes kind of look like the neomorph uh and uh they they have some you know similarities to the face hugger as well um uh, you know that the tail uh the whole body of it similar very similar to the face hugger um, so yeah that's the story behind the creature uh, let's take a closer look here uh, so the incredible paintwork we have here the sculpt first thing is the sculpt by golf studio um, it's, it's amazing like uh, it always has that woe factor there's nothing, no statue from Golf Studio that um, I've ever seen that was disappointing. They always carry that woe factor to it. So here's the, the black uh, pathogen on the ground. And uh, some of it has seeped into the soil. As you can see, there's some hints of purple Mike, Michael Ludwig did this on purpose, so he wanted 
for it to pop out. Um, yeah. Here's some more uh, the earth of the LV223. Seems like it's kind of like kind of mutating, uh, changing the uh, the soil's uh, molecular structure kind of uh, here on this side. It's like building kind of the, you know, the biomechanical look. I wouldn't say it's mutating the soil because soil is not alive. So it's just changing the structure of it, maybe. Yeah, as you can see, see the hints of the greenish, uh, kind of purplish here. And uh, yeah, th that's that's uh, Michael's uh, specialty, his, his style of paint. He always adds like this kind of like dark muted green, uh, which is really cool. Uh, makes it more organic, more alive looking. Yeah, so cool. Here's the hammer pit coming out. It's like some some of the black uh, pathogen on its body. Yeah, it's more fleshy color. You can see some of the veins here. Uh, almost like the you know the translucent skin has the veins underneath it's really cool I absolutely love it yeah working my way up here and this is this has two portraits. This is the closed mouth portrait, similar to like a cobra. These two fins in the movie, it's closed. And then when Milborn takes his hand out, sticks his hand out to kind of admire the creature, the fins open. And then this thing, the middle mouth, that also opens, which is the second portrait I'll show you guys shortly. And here's the ampule where the black uh, pathogen is seeping out of it and exposing the soil around it. Um, this writing here, this is uh, Proto-Indo-European. That, that's the alphabet. And I could not find the translation of what this is, the symbolism here, what it's saying. I don't think it's gibberish. I'm sure it's saying something here, but hopefully I can look more into it and find a translation. Very somewhat close to Sumerian. Sumerian is a ancient language. Um, so yeah, anyway. There's the ampule. You can see the the black pathogen seeping through it, the top. It's very cool. This is uh, like, I didn't think I'm gonna enjoy this piece this much. I absolutely love it. Like it's just something about it. It's just so cool in the collection being displayed. Here's the second portrait. And I will actually put it on the body so we can see completely. But yeah, one of the features I absolutely love on this statue is the second portrait is part of the display on the base. So you don't have to like put it in a box or put it anywhere. It's part of the base. It completes it. So it's really cool. Um, yeah. It's a favorite feature, like I've never seen a statue have this feature where the second uh, portrait can be displayed part of the base. Yeah, so here's some of the 
back side. It's the top of the head. It's incredible work, incredible paint by Michael Ludwig, incredible, amazing sculpt by Golf Studio. All right, so let's get this second head on. All right, here we go. Here's the second portrait. And see the slimy organic mouth here and as the uh, four hooks, kind of like teeth. It kind of reminds me of a predator with the four uh, kind of mandibles. Look at that detail, just incredible. The closed mouth portrait is more of my favorite to display. So I'll be displaying it with that, which is right here. Yep. So yeah, there it is. The full size scale uh, golf studio hammer pad from Prometheus. There's only one little complaint that I have, and uh, even though the creature is definitely full-size scale, I mean, there's no doubt about that, but the ampule is not, it's not full-size scale. It's uh, much smaller than what it is supposed to be. This actually has to be at least 16 inches tall. This is 12 and has to be much bigger. Um, I think the ampule is more of a half scale here, but that's just a you know complain. It doesn't take away from the statue or its beauty. Uh, yeah, it's just it's an incredible piece, and here it is next to Jonesy Cat from Golf Studio as well. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my review and thank you again for all your support absolutely appreciate all the support comments views that you guys uh, watch um and shout out to michael ludwig i will post his uh page facebook page in the description and golf studios uh page as well in the description thank you guys for watching uh, take care.